Hi everyone, Bandana here. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Today, as promised, we're going to take a look at how to get Gen Patcher working and then the mods working for Command and Conquer Generals via the Gen Launcher. First thing you're going to want to do is download Command and Conquer Generals and Command and Conquer General Zero on Steam. Get them downloaded. They both need to be downloaded. Then run Command and Conquer Generals once and exit out and then run generals zero hour once and then exit out. The intention here is that when you run them the first time they will install and put all of their registry entries in place. It is really important you do that before trying to install Gen Patcher. Otherwise Gen Patcher has no idea that they exist. You've downloaded it, you've run them once, great. Now head over to the official website for Gen Patcher, which is linked down below and it is here. Disclaimer. This is a third party piece of software made by the community. It is not official to Electronic Arts, it is not official to Steam, it is nothing to do with me. You are downloading this at your own risk, but I've never had any issues with it. The community at large has never had any issues with it. Just make sure you get it from the official website and you should be fine. Do note that Windows will think it is a virus, antivirus programs will think it is a virus, and something like Edge or whatever Microsoft's web browser is these days will also think it's a virus and might not even let you download it. So, you know, it does say at the top of the page here, disable your virus scanner before downloading and when running it. So it's giving you advanced warning. Basically, because it's an injector and it opens up the EXE files and stuff and messes with all of the files in the folder, obviously Windows doesn't like that because it's not official, as I say expect all of this stuff it's normal it's going to give you that kind of error just make sure you're getting it from the official website and you should be absolutely fine get it downloaded get it unzipped and you'll be left with a folder like this which has gen patcher and the readme and then we're just going to run gen patcher and hopefully i've reinstalled my game from scratch and everything else so we can do this together so i'm going to run gen patcher it will pop up this it wants to run as administrator just click yes Yes again, it's going to want to do that again. Now you're going to get a load of these popping up. It's basically loads of stuff going on in the background while it edits all those files and everything else. It takes it a few minutes just to run through everything, depending on the speed of your system. And there you go. Okay, so this is Gen Patcher. You'll notice I have version 2.07c. That is the latest version available when I got it. This one is the one that will work with the Steam version. Your version may be newer than this, so don't worry if it's newer than that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just click on installation info. So you're going to want to go to installation info. It will have all of your directory details and it needs to just say command and conquer generals and command and conquer general zero. You want them both there. That is proof that you've loaded them both up and the gen patcher has detected they exist. Great. Fantastic. Now go to your fixes section at the front and click apply fixes. Again, it's going to run a bunch of stuff in the background and there you go. Congratulations. The game is now fixed. Just hit yes. Okay. That will install your gen tool as well. Gen tool is in. You don't have to install it, but it's important for getting loads of other stuff working. So just hit yes. So now it will install gen tool. Now you can go to additional content. So there's a few different things here. You can have different control bars if you want. I quite like this one, the new control bar. It upgrades it all, makes it look very nice. And that is my screen resolution. So perfect for me. And I just hit install. And again, it's going to pop up a load of windows in the background. You don't have to worry about it. It's going to do all of that. And then it's finished. Done. You can uninstall it if you want. The next thing that we want to install is Gen Launcher. So this one is really important. This is how you get all the mods working. It's a mod manager and launcher, okay? So hit install. Again, it's going to do all of this stuff in the background very quickly. Then you can go to Gen Tool. Um, these are various settings you can have. So borderless full screen window mode. So this will allow you to hopefully alt tab without the game crashing. I've not had much success with it, but I'm going to turn it on anyway. And then you can also change your zoom height. I quite like the extended plus 100. You can still zoom in, by the way, when you set that. It just gives you the option. You can change the hotkey profile if there's a hotkey you prefer. 
there's different settings and things and then there's a world builder if you want to install that and its upgrades as well next you have the maps and again you can select all of these on not select them all i've already installed them so all the community map packs are installed for me because i've installed them previously and it's obviously a different folder but you can install those if you want for playing online there's a few different options so there's game ranger is one there's cnc online which is quite a common one that a lot of the community use as well and then you could play via a vpn um, these two are the most common you should get the one that you're going to use with your friends organize with whoever you're going to play with obviously there are people that you'll find randomly online as well so we can close all of that because it's running or you can leave it open it doesn't really matter but now when you boot up the game you should see a little screen with this on it so when you boot it up assuming it's all running you'll see this in the middle and there'll be random numbers and stuff at the corners of the screen and things like that just to tell you how long you've been playing etc 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 fine now we're going to install the mods on your desktop you will find a general launcher icon and you can double click to run that and you will be presented with this it will want to be updated so just hit update it will download restart hit ok it will want to update again do it once more there you go so we're updated to the latest version now we just simply need to add a mod so if we click here You'll see Rise of the Reds there, which is one of the ones I played, and you just click Add. And it will do all the adding stuff, and then you hit Install. And it will download the file. It won't take long. They're not huge. Obviously, I say they're not huge. This will depend on your internet connection. And what speed the service can give it to you, because I believe this is all coming from ModDB. Bear in mind, it will depend on both your connection and the connection of the website. In the meantime, let's add another mod. Let's add Shockwave, which is another one I added. And we can hit to install that as well. Okay, so all downloaded. Now highlight the one you want to load up and then hit launch game. Assuming you have launched the game before, you'll be presented with this, which is just, do you want to check the integrity before you start? Just hit yes. It takes a couple of seconds. It just double checks that there hasn't been any adjustments. Steam hasn't maybe updated and deleted some of the files and then the game will boot up gen tool is obviously working because this has appeared and then you've got all of your options here as you usually would and that's as simple as that that's how you get stuff working thanks for watching i'll see you all soon